When somebody looks at this piece, I want them to feel uh, represented and included, and I hope that that inspires them and brightens their day. Art to me is still a bit of an exploration. It is definitely a form of expression and something that I'm still working on and probably always will be. <laughs> The first bike racks that actually went in the ground were the Beltline bike racks, which have kind of become our most iconic racks. We started this project out of an idea. We really didn't have any idea of what we were actually doing when we were creating these racks, so it was uh, an idea that had to be placed into execution. But it was a project that was founded to improve our mobility areas in Calgary. So meeting form and function, art and function, we wanted to take our current bike racks and upgrade them, make them more lockable, and make them a little bit more visual. The responsibility of all of us is to be part of the conversation, and that was our goal, was really how do we bind uh, a landmark that's within our zone with our businesses that also create a public awareness for people coming into the area. I, I think the ability to talk to inclusion and diversity is just as important as actually doing something about it. So this gives us a visual landmark that has a story behind it. 2020 was such a hard year, I didn't necessarily want to focus on an issue. I wanted to take a bit of a more positive approach and I wanted to start with a symbol that was cross-cultural. So I began with the Euroboros, which is the snake that's eating its own tail. From there, I turned the snake into a, a knot of arms and have uh, all the arms tangled up around the belt line letters in a hopes of all those arms are lifting each other up and supporting each other and holding each other. And um, all the patterns give a sense of community and inclusivity. The funding for this project was provided through the City of Calgary by a public art micro grant. And what the artist did with the funding and the idea that she had is phenomenal. It stimulates such an important conversation about anti-racism and allows the public to engage in the conversation in a new way. Our responsibility as a BIA is going to be to include diverse programming that speaks naturally. I think there's a fine line between doing things that are inclusive and diverse and doing them to tell everybody you're doing them. So our goal is to make this part of a natural narrative that makes everybody feel welcome. Chloe's art reminds all of us um, the importance of belonging. And so for people who are new to Calgary or coming to Calgary for the first time, or maybe don't come downtown very often, especially our future generations, our young ones, who are looking for that sense of belonging and the way forward, Chloe's art reminds us that we all have a place. So I would encourage everybody to come on down to the Beltline Blocks and feel the heartbeat of Calgary. Feel what it's like to be down here feel the art and feel Chloe's message of how important it is that we recognize the interconnectedness of us all.